Shall we use trigonometric identities to help us simplify an expression? Well, let's see. Now we've got the tangent squared of theta times the cosecant squared of theta minus 1, all divided by the secant squared of theta. Well, let's see. We're going to take this bit by bit. Well, the tangent squared of theta, <coughs> that is a quotient identity. Let me write that. So then we could say that this is the sine squared of theta over the cosine squ squared of theta. Let me write that a little bit better. Over the cosine squared of theta. That's the tangent squared of theta, quotient identity. And that's times the cosecant squared of theta. So the cosecant then is, I'm going to rewrite it as 1 over the sine squared of theta. And we'll go ahead and go with the minus 1. And that's over the secant squared of theta. I'm going to leave that like that just for the time being. I'll address this in just in a moment. All right, let's work on this numerator. So if we've got the sine squared of theta over the cosine of squared of theta times now the 1 times over the sine squared of theta, well, the sine squared of theta is cancel out. And this is going to leave us then with 1 over the cosine squared of theta minus 1. And this is over the secant squared of theta. And now I'm going to deal with this secant squared of theta because it is 1 over the cosine squared of theta, reciprocal identity. So we used the reciprocal identity on the cosecant squared of theta, made it 1 over the sine of theta, multiplying it by the tangent squared of theta as a quotient identity is second squared of theta over cosine, cosine squared of theta can leave us with 1 over the cosine squared of theta minus 1, now divided by 1 over the cosine squared of theta. Well, let's see here. And we can then say that this is 1 over the cosine squared of theta minus 1. And if we're going to divide by the 1 over the cosine squared of theta, that's the same as multiplying by the cosine squared of theta. And we're going to distribute that to our expression 1 minus the cosine, 1 over the cosine squared of theta minus 1. And once we do, then we will have the cosine squared of theta over the cosine squared of theta minus. Well, let's see, negative 1 times the cosine squared of theta is the cosine squared of theta. Well, the cosine squared of theta divided by the cosine squared of theta is just 1. And so now we've got 1 minus the cosine squared of theta. And you know what? Pythagorean identity would tell us that this is equal to the sine squared of theta and shazam we have simplified that expression all right i feel like we should do one more oh man okay <clears throat> well let's see we've got the secant of theta divided by the sine of theta times 1 minus the cosine squared of theta. Now, I might recognize right off the bat that this is equal to the sine squared of theta, Pythagorean identity. So let's see, now we got the secant of theta over the sine of theta now being multiplied by the sine squared of theta, where we use that trigonometric, I mean that Pythagorean identity. 
Well, I've got, I've got the sine of theta times, uh, we can then do a little bit of cancellation, make this the sine of theta. So now we've got the, let's see if I can write it like this, the secant of theta is now times the sine of theta. Well, what is the secant of theta? Well, we got a reciprocal identity where the secant of theta is one over the cosine of theta. Now that's times the sine of theta. And we distribute that, then we've got the sine of theta over the cosine of theta. Well, that looks familiar. Probably so, because that is equal to the tangent of theta, sine over cosine, and shazam, there we go. We simplified that expression. All right, you got to think on these, but they're very useful, aren't they? You probably would say no, but I'm going to say yes.